Today's video is not necessarily a... <sighs> I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Hello and welcome to Bulletproof Art. If you don't already know me, my name is Sam and I'm addicted to bullet journaling. Today's video is not necessarily a tutorial or a plan with me, it's more of like a chit chat kind of video because I have been struggling so much lately with keeping up with my journal right now. I have ADHD so my brain is constantly like all over the place and not knowing what to do. I want to do stuff but at the same time like I have no motivation to do any of this stuff and it's not interesting to me. People with ADHD brains have this um, chemical imbalance, I guess. So we have lower dopamine levels than a normal brain. The dopamine is what drives you to do something. Dopamine is the chemical in your brain that is like your reward system. So when you do something that excites you and makes you feel good, that's dopamine being released in your brain. But an ADHD brain lacks this dopamine. So whenever we do things that may be exciting to us, it doesn't very much feel exciting, if that makes sense. So for me, I love bullet journaling and I love staying organized, but it feels like a chore. Everything feels like a chore. Getting in the shower feels like a chore. Making food feels like a chore. Like, I'm hungry, but I don't want to cook any food. <laughs> I've been having this struggle and I got this new new notebook. It's huge because I, for some reason I like the bigger notebooks. There's so much more space to write stuff. But it's so empty and I'm having such a hard time just trying to start it. It's a normal, it's not, my old notebook is a disc bound notebook. I don't have that fear of like, oh I'm gonna mess up this page and I can't do anything about it. Because if you mess up a page in a disc bound notebook, you can just pull it out or put it somewhere else if you don't like it in the spot that it's in. Whereas this notebook, everything is kind of stuck in that spot that you put it. So that kind of intimidates me a little bit. It seems hard to start it for some reason. And I've been searching, that's another thing, oh man, searching on the internet is just a trap. Let's go on YouTube and search for bullet journal inspiration and then fall down the rabbit hole and watch some cats or this guy talk about his time in, in London or something, I don't know several different videos have absolutely nothing to do with what I'm already doing and that's a problem. So I'm sitting here trying to start my journal and I literally have an index page and my monthly calendar or my calendex or whatever you want to call it. That's all I have so far because I'm just so nervous to start. It just feels overwhelming and I feel pressured to get it right. I guess that's everybody though, that's not just, just me. So that's why I wanted to make this video is because when you're starting your bullet journal, you're overwhelmed and you're anxious and you don't want to mess it up and you see all these beautiful spreads on the internet and you're like, man, I wish my bullet journal looked like that. But you know what? It doesn't have to look like that. It can be messy, it can be horrible looking or something. I'm just kind of rambling. I wanted to make this video because it was kind of a, a, a spur of the moment type of thing and I needed to get out of my funk. I've been laying in bed for almost two weeks, it feels like, and I feel like I'm going insane and I don't know what to do. And so I just wanted to hop on and say hello, share my struggles, I guess. <laughs> You're not alone if you feel like it's intimidating to start a bullet journal. I've been bullet journaling for six, seven, eight months and it's fun, I love it. It keeps me organized and it keeps me on task. Also, with my ADHD brain, I'm constantly forgetting things. One day I'll be like, oh, well, I need to schedule this doctor's appointment. And then the next day I'll completely forget about it until the next week and I'm like, oh yeah, I was supposed to schedule this doctor's appointment. So that's another thing I really love about the bullet journal is when you have these fleeting thoughts, you can just jot them down and then they're always there and they're there in front of you. That's one thing I like about journaling in general, is like if you have a bunch of racing thoughts in your head, write them down, they start to make sense. Because if your thoughts are racing in your head, they don't always make sense. To me anyway, because it's just a bunch of random words, all like... Imagine a fishbowl and a bunch of little pieces of paper with thoughts on them. That's, that's my brain. <laughs> a bullet journal is like taking a note out of the fishbowl and laying them out so that they make more sense. And that's something that's really empowering. This video is a little random and so is my brain, but 
I just wanted to say that if you're starting bullet journaling, just do it. Just start randomly writing stuff down. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it out of your head because then things will start to make sense. That's all. Stay creative.